How about that so-called debate? It's, it's Wednesday the 30th of September, last day of the month. And yeah, it's my channel, so <clears throat> if I talk about music, I do. If I don't, I don't. Are any of you watching me really that stupid that you're saying you're still confused about the vote? Would you raise your children to, to be and act like what we have in the White House? We don't have much of a choice, but it's real obvious that what we have in the White House is not beneficial to the people. That's very clear. Every, so sad. So sad. I do want to acknowledge um, a gift that I received. Well, a few things. First, I want to say thanks, Christina G., for asking for my input on your <clears throat> advice video. I watched it, most, of, most all of it. Most everyone had decent advice. And so, um, thank you. What a bright personality. It's like Christina strikes me as the sort of person whose brights are on all the time. But I don't know her. She, that's just how she comes across in the videos. Not quite manic. You know what I'm saying? She's bright. A lot of energy. I want to share that I received a really wonderful package from a viewer in Australia, and it's been a while. I was going to thought for a minute that I would get ready and pull this and that to try to um, make some connections, and I just said, fuck it, you know. Terry, I believe is the man's name, corresponded with me, just expressed a lot of thanks and... Um, feeling like what people say to me they feel like they um, can relate to me on a personal level Terry and um, over the years I've um, connected with um, a lot of people in Australia which I find interesting I've never been there I would like to go there and New Zealand so first off I'll show he gave me a Queensland Australia map if I could ever get there and see what it's all about. The other thing that he sent me were some t-shirts. He sent me this Rage t-shirt, which I appreciate. I am a t-shirt guy. And he sent me these t-shirts with the, the Aboriginal flag, which I really appreciate. I thought about wearing one today, but um, I just got up and got going. He sent me um, a couple, a long sleeve, and it uh, looks like he sent me a couple of short sleeves. So I will be um, deciding who to share one of the short sleeves with. Terry, so kind of you. He, he said, uh, obviously, he sent me music. Um, and, he, you know, again, he shares a bit of his story. I do appreciate it. I just, again, always want to say that, you know, folks want to want to develop a personal connection with me and I just resist because I would just be on the, you know, I just don't want to do it. I'd be talking all the time, don't want to do it. If you lived here, it'd be different. Sorry, but that's how I am. But he sent me two CDs, the Inner City Sound, a double disc of Australian, Australian punk and post-punk. He told me he's seen every band on here, which is way cool. Um, I knew about some of these bands and have some of them. Of course, we know about the obvious birthday party. But um, I have something by Tactics. Of course, we know about Saints and the Go-Betweens. I know about them, of course. Severed Heads, of course. Hunters and Collectors, of course. I've got some of them. Um, David Cussworth, I believe he just died, didn't he? So I, I just touched on a bit of this. Um, I appreciate it. And the other music that he sent me, he sent it in vinyl and in CD form. Thank you so much, Terry. Really appreciate this. 
the amorphous androgynous compiled this thing called um, The Wizard of Oz, a monster psychedelic bubble exploding in your mind. Um, basically a compilation of um, Australian, New Zealand based music that they associate with psychedelia or just this whole idea. And uh, they sent me both, both versions because the CD has extra tracks. Love the graphics. I've played this already. And um, I have some of these artists, like Real Thing by Russell Morris. I have the, the single. I forget his name, but another Australian used to send me 45s. So he sent me some pretty collectible 45s. I have that. I have Cybotron. I've had that for years. I got turned on to Cybotron in high school somehow. And um, I just really appreciate this um, so much. I feel the, I'll say this about Terry and I'm going to say it about, also about Martin Archer. In his words and his gift, I feel the sincerity. I don't feel a butt kiss. I don't feel like this man is trying to get something out of me. It feels like this man is sincerely wanting to give me something, expressing what he feels he's re already received from me. I really appreciate that, and it comes through. Thank you, Terry. It comes through in other people's uh, gifts, not all the time. This one, I feel it. Thank you, Terry. I got a, a, the latest update from Discus Music, three discs that I'll be getting to. Um, this weed is in here because I just burned myself a copy of this. See, I do that stuff for fun. Ken Hensley was in this band. I'm getting a reissue of this on vinyl. I just ordered it. I'll be, I'll be reviewing these soon. But when I contacted Martin to let him know I got him, I really appreciate this. My re relationship with Martin Archer is a real friendship. And he let me know, I don't expect you to like everything I send you. And in other words, he's letting me know. I'm sending it to you because I know I'll get honest feedback about what I'm doing, which is the best. And what I'll say is, when he sends me music and I have difficulty um, getting into it, the reason why I struggle with it is because I want to get what it is that he got to the point that he said I need to release this. Because I think he has um, good taste, he's a, he's a good musician, so his musician, his musicology to me is, is solid. So, so far he's only sent me a couple things that I still don't really care a whole lot for. Mostly it's Im really amazing, wonderful, deep listening music. I'll be getting a full review of this, but this Tony Oxley, which came out on um, Incas, February Papers, this is deep listening. And this is listening to a master percussionist um, with other musicians going places that you have to go with them or you'll miss the boat. I can tell you that much about that one because I checked that out right away. There's so much that I could say. So much I could say. So many records I could show you. I'll show one more thing because I went... Well, I'll show this because I haven't so much jazz lately. This is something that when I look in my shelves, it's been asking me to play it for a while now. So I finally pulled it and played it last night. Jimmy Lyons' Other Afternoons. Interestingly, the, B, the big titles that we hear about, Sonny Shep, uh, Archie Shep, Sun Ra, um, Gong, uh, this is probably one of the strongest sessions of all of those played this and it's like whoa this ain't no half stepping okay it's also really well recorded this all happened happened uh, during a period of time where there was you know excitement in the air but also exploitation okay and but this this is a seriously good set lester bowie was on here alan silva this is some good jazz, just good jazz, period. Jimmy Lyons, other afternoons. So uh, I'm going to speak quickly, politically, before I leave. 
at this point, it's really obvious that we have a very sick, racist, selfish individual in the White House representing the a a absolute dregs of society. Racist, stupid, selfish people are his base. This is really sad. This is real sad. That debate was... Whew. And I see already in social media the distorted thinking that supports what Trump did. Unbelievable. And I'm not a Biden supporter. It's just that Trump is an utter disaster. It's got to go. And yet there's people completely delusional about Trump. It's so dangerous. I'm not scared. I'm pissed. And if any of them come over here and say anything, it's going to be negative, hateful, not factual, and sometimes downright harmful. And that's what's doubly sad is that these people are so ignorant and full of shit they can't see. They can't see how foul they've become. And America is so dumb as a nation that this is happening. It just makes me go crazy sometimes. How can people, people be so stupid? A lot of it apparently has been done by design. They wrecked the educational system so people can't, can't figure shit out on their own. They can just, all they can do is do what they're told. Yeah, I got to speak my mind about this mess. It's, it ain't cool.